Over the past month, we've brought you several stories about brain cancer. Former President Jimmy Carter is fighting the disease. Hollywood film director Wes Craven even passed away from it. Now there's a new device right here in Central Texas that can actually disrupt tumors in the brain. And we have Dr. Ikobi Fongam with Baylor Scott and White, and he's here to tell us about NovoCure. So first, explain what exactly is NovoCure and what kind of cancer does it treat? NovoCure is a device that was uh, approved by a company based in Israel for the treatment of a glioblastoma. I know the name NovoCure has now recently been changed to Optin. And Optin is a device you typically wear on your head and it works by interfering with the tumor electric fields as the cancer cells start to divide through the various stages of uh, mitosis. And by doing that, prevents that process from happening, hence results in cancer killing. So you put the, the device goes on a person's head and then disrupts the, the tumor itself, slowing down the growth of that tumor, correct? Correct. Um, what kind of hope does that give patients, especially with brain cancer? Because that, that is a very traumatic experience. Yeah, it's not approved for the treatment of glioblastoma. Glioblastoma being the most aggressive form of brain cancer with a median survival of about 14.6 months, even with the most aggressive treatment, which in, which in many cases involves surgery, radiation, and chemo. So with the addition of this uh, new device called Optin, we've seen an increase in overall survival from 14.6 months to about 19.6 months. Wow. So that gives a person more time with their family and friends. Um, I mean, at this point, is there even technology past this that could possibly even add more months uh, to a person's life? Well, based on most of the randomized control studies, this is the only thing that has been proven to be superior to what we as neuro-oncologists have been doing. I know there's been talk about using vaccines for the treatment of a glioblastoma, but uh, most of the data on those kind of studies is still very preliminary, so we don't have enough evidence to show whether vaccines actually improve glioblastoma survival or not. But the studies are currently ongoing. Well, thank you so much for your time, Dr. Funkin. We appreciate it, and thank you for all that information. We're going to have more of that information on our website, KXAN.com, KXAN later on today.